So yes, we are still solving inequalities and I've shown you different types of inequalities now and what to consider how you want to keep those X terms uh, positive. Um, and check my site expandingmaths.com to see those uh, videos because it's really important that you've seen uh, all of them, all right? And it doesn't take very long. And now this is the final video about inequalities. And um, this is the format you usually get them in. Five, yeah? Smaller or equal to 2x plus 1, smaller than x plus 9. And it looks a little bit intimidating, but it's not. You need to realize that these are actually two inequalities. Now, there is a way to solve that just in one sentence, but I strongly discourage you to do that. I'm going to tell you, break it up into two inequalities. What do I mean? Well, this is one inequality. Okay, so I'm just going to write that one here, there, uh, down. 5, smaller, equal to 2x plus 1. And the other inequality is this one okay and i'm also going to write that one down so that first sentence the question basically is just a shortcut yeah because mathematicians are generally quite lazy people so if we can write something very short yeah short uh, in a short sentence we will but when we solve it it's perhaps better to write it the in the extended versions okay so it's inequality one inequality two and now i'm going to solve both inequalities separately okay so I'm going to do that relatively quickly, so make sure you see those uh, videos yeah, uh, on my site, explainingmaths.com. Um, you can also ask me questions you have over there. Yeah, so I divide by two now. So if you have any questions, then ask me, I will help you. I am in Egypt, I'm not an Arab, but it doesn't matter, I can read like, like an Arab. X is bigger or equal to two, okay, so I'm just going to say, x is bigger or equal to 2. That is one solution of the two inequalities. Now the other one. So I told you in my previous video to keep those terms with the x positive. All right. So I'm going to take away the x there because I can see that 2x minus x then my x term is positive. So I'm going to take the one here. So on both sides x smaller than 8. So that is the second solution. So it needs to be bigger or equal to 2. So, yeah, so now I'm basically going to combine my two answers again. X needs to be bigger or equal to 2 as long as it is smaller than 8. All right. So you break it up, you solve them, and you combine them again. I hope that was useful. Explainingmaps.com for all my other resources. Like and share this video, guys, if it was useful. Thank you very much for that. I wish you a pleasant day, and I hope to see you uh, at some stage. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.